Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Cullors. I am the Exhibitions and Collections Fellow at the Dubuque Museum of Art. The museum being closed right now as a result of COVID-19, I am here to bring you an installment of videos about some of my favorite pieces of art in the collection. This etching is titled Dubuque Museum of Art, Old Jail Gallery by Arthur Geyser. Arthur Geyser was born in 1941 in Dallas, Texas. He creates children's books that usually take place in a Midwest setting and are filled with fun and wonder. The museum hasn't always been in its current location across from the Washington Square Park. For several years, it was located inside of the old jail in downtown Dubuque. This etching shows the interior of the museum at the old jail, with people viewing artwork in the galleries, an art class taking place in the basement, and people working hard to hang more art. But Geysert also shows part of the exterior of the building using his unique cutout style. There's as much going on outside as there is inside. A man cleaning a window from a ladder, two artists on the roof, one painting the dome of the courthouse and the other painting the hot air balloon in the sky. And on the other side of the roof is a sculptor hard at work. My favorite detail in this etching is all of the inmates scattered throughout the image. In the bottom right corner, you can see all of them lining up and entering a hole in the ground, crawling through a secret tunnel beneath the museum and popping up out of a hole on the left hand side. There's also an inmate standing behind a door on the upper floor. I only noticed him because I saw his ball and chain on the floor outside of the room. Before I started working at the museum, I am ashamed to admit that I had no idea who Arthur Geysert was. But when I saw one of his original hand-colored etchings, I could not believe how much I loved it. It was so different compared to the Renaissance work I had spent so much time studying and looking at. I was ecstatic to learn that the museum held a complete collection of all of his work. I learned all about the etching process and that it takes about a year just to create all of the etchings that go into one of his famous children's books. One of my favorite things about Geyser's work is that every time you look at the image, you see something new, a different detail piece, something you didn't realize that was there the first time you looked at it. He does this with all of his etchings. There's so much happening at one time that it's impossible to take it all in at once. I hope you enjoyed hearing about this work. Please feel free to leave us a comment and I hope you'll check out our other collection talks.